a scalpel or craft knife is one of those everyday essentials that you'll use time and again as a model maker. We tend to use the Swan Morton scalpels, which are from a medical background, but which are excellent for model making. We get ours from Hysterex Agents and they've sent in a load of additional Swan Morton accessories for us to review today. We've been sent some of them. This is a number seven, which is a very fine and long handle. We've also got the more standard number three handle, which is what we tend to use. And there's a more compact number nine handle. And they also sent us a load of blades. Obviously these come from a medical background, but we tend to find that they're cheaper than buying a dedicated craft knife. You can get non-sterile blades very, very cheaply. And there's a whole different range of shapes and sizes for your modeling needs. What we tend to like is they're excellent for cleaning up parts, seam lines and so on. The blades are very sharp, the handles are very well engineered. They're excellent for cutting out decals or decals and cutting paper parts, especially if you assemble paper accessories for your models. They're very ergonomic and easy to use. They won't generally slip. If they do slip, you'll do yourself a nasty injury. So it's always best to cut away from the body. They really are a gauge of quality. We tend to use the 10A blade for general modeling, but there's also more rounded blades, which are very useful for photo etch. If you use a photo etch cutting station, you just rock a curved blade over the stub on your photo etch and it comes away very easily. Clearly you have different shapes of straight blade, but the number 12 blade, the curved blade, that's an especially useful tool for your scratch building. Firstly, you can use it to get a very clean cut on your plastic card. You scribe a deep and repeated channel using this sort of blade and then it's very easy to snap the part clear. A clean break down your plastic card. It won't leave any ridges, it just gives a very clean cut. It's also useful for scribing details like engine hatches and so on. You can also use this sort of chopping blade. We find this is particularly useful on resin parts. And then there's this very long number 11 blade. And here's how you change the blades. Now, as you've seen in the background here, if you're more familiar with an X-Acto type knife, Swan Morton do this range. It's the ACM handle, blade and guard. Much more familiar to people who use these sort of craft knives. You've got a locking collar here, which you can undo and change the blade easily. These are obviously made by the same manufacturer, so are very highly engineered, very well made. The blades are manufactured in Sheffield, and you can expect the same quality. You get a rounded blade, the number 10 blade. These packs contain five. There's the number 11 blade is the typical hobby blade. Number seven blade, sort of chopper. You can see on the back, there's a whole range of other blades. This sort of blade is something that we use a lot for applying filler along seam lines and joints. And they also do a thicker one, the number 18. This one is the number 17. It's very, very light and easy to handle. The beauty of these sort of precision made items, as opposed to the cheaper varieties, is the quality. And of course, they're very sharp. So if you're more comfortable with a standard hobby type handle and blade, this is for you. You get an idea just how sharp it is. A lot more simple and a lot more safe than the surgical type blades. In either case, with Swan Morton, you're getting quality from a well-respected manufacturer. Thanks for watching today's review and goodbye.